Today, we're going to create an exciting game called Dog and Crab. In this game, our main characters are a dog and a crab. The objective is to help the dog avoid touching the crab, jump over it, and earn points as the crab glides smoothly across the screen. Let's dive into the code and understand each step. Begin by clicking the IDE icon to initiate a new project. Remove the default sprite by clicking on the delete button and then add the dog sprite. Then the crab sprite. Hover the mouse over the choose a sprite and select the paint option to create the game over sprite. Select the text icon to input and incorporate the game over sprite. Alter the font color to red and set the font style to pixel. Next, let's include the background for our program. Click on the Add Backdrop and select the Blue Sky Backdrop. We are utilizing two backgrounds for this program. One will be employed exclusively when the game is over. Click on the stage and then proceed to the Backdrop tab. Right-click on the Blue Sky 1 stage and select Duplicate. This action will create a new backdrop named Stage 2. Now, let's adjust the color of the sky. Click on the arrow icon to select the sky area. Then, click on the Fill tool and adjust the color as desired. Let's begin coding. Make sure to select Stage 1 and then click on Code to start programming. Modify the placement of each sprite. Choose the crab sprite and modify its size by adjusting the value here. Subsequently, choose the dog sprite and adjust its size as well. Now we have to store the number of lives and gain points and know whether the dog has touched the crab. Click on the Make a Variable button under the Variables palette to create a variable. Then create three variables named Life, Score, and Touched. Let's start coding for Dog Sprite. Select the Dog Sprite. To begin the program by clicking on the flag, select the When flag clicked from the events. Then, navigate to the Motion block and use Set Rotation Left to Right block to assign motion for the Dog Sprite. When the program begins, the backdrop should be set to Blue Sky 1 so navigate to the Looks block and utilize a Switch Backdrop block, then set the backdrop to Blue Sky. Moving on to the Variable block, Let's start by creating and initiating variables. Start by selecting the Set My Variables block. The dog sprite begins with three lives, so set life to three. The score should be zero at the beginning of the game. So drag a Set My Variables block, set the variable to score, and the value to zero. Drag one more Set Variable block and change the variable to Touched and assign the value one. Moving to the next set of code blocks for the dog sprite. Here, we want the dog sprite to move right when the right key is pressed and left when the left key is pressed. Select when flag clicked from the events block. From the control block, select the if block. And insert key pressed from the sensing category inside it. Change the key to the right arrow key. When the right arrow key is pressed, the sprite should move right. From the motion block, use move 10 steps and adjust the value to 5. Then, choose point in direction 90 to make the sprite to point towards right. Navigate to the looks block and select next costume to create a walking animation for the sprite. This code will make the sprite move right when the right key is pressed. Duplicate the rift block by right clicking and connect it underneath. Change the right arrow to the left arrow. Change the value of point on direction to minus 90 so the direction of sprite will change towards left and move 5 steps left. Now, we want to repeat this process forever. To achieve this, from the control block, use a forever block and place the code block inside it. To add code for the crab sprite, start by selecting it and navigating to the events block. Choose when flag clicked. If the sprite is far to the left, meaning its X position is greater than minus 250, it needs to move to the left. Set the conditions using an if-then block from the controls. Move to the operators and use a greater than block. Set the X position from the motion block and compare with minus 250. Use a move 10 steps block and set the value to minus 5 so it will move to the left. 
Once the crab sprite has moved completely to the left, simply use a set X block from the motion category and set the value to 250. Indicating that the crab sprite should be positioned at X coordinate 250 when it reaches the left edge and create a cool wrapping effect. After completing the gliding motion from right to left, and if it is not touched increment the score by 1. Navigate to the control section and utilize a NIF block. From the operator section, select the equal sign block. Set the variable touched from the variable block and compare it with 0. Below it, select the change my score by 1 block from the variable section and place it. Set the variable to score. To prevent points from accumulating too quickly, use the set touch to zero block. Wrap the entire code inside a forever loop to ensure continuous processing. Let's set up the next block of code for the dog sprite. Since the crab moves from right to left, triggering the dog's jump as it passes. We'll initiate this action by pressing the space key. Start by selecting when flag clicked from the events block, mirroring the approach used for the left and right movement keys. Employ the if-else block from the control section. For the dog to jump, we require two conditions, the space key must be pressed, and the dog must be on the ground. Employ the if-else block from the control section and utilize the and operator from the operator's block to integrate both conditions seamlessly. The dog's jump is initiated only if the space key is pressed and if it's currently touching the ground color, which we'll set accordingly. Utilize the touching color block to check if the dog is touching the ground. Click on the color icon and then select the color picker icon. Choose the color of the ground to accurately identify it in the code. To execute the jump, utilize the repeat 10 block to ensure a fluid motion. Insert a change Y by 10 block from the motion section within this loop. This sequence makes the dog perform consecutive jumps, creating a spring-like motion. To add realism, include a 0.2 second pause between jumps using a wait 1 seconds, block from the event section and set the value to 0.2. When the space key is pressed, the dog moves upward. However, we also want the sprite to move downward when it's not touching the ground, indicating that the dog is descending from a jump. To achieve this, add an if block from the control section inside the health portion. Within this if block, Utilize the not block from the operator's category and duplicate the touching color block, placing it within the gap. This setup ensures that the conditions are met for the dog to move downward. From the motion block, select the change Y by 10 button and change the value to minus 10. This adjustment instructs the sprite to move downward by 10 units when it's not touching the ground, completing the motion for both upward and downward movements. Place the code inside a forever loop. When the dog sprite touches the crab sprite, certain actions should be taken. To establish the next set of conditions, start with when flag clicked from the events block. Utilize an if block from the control section. And incorporate touching mouse pointer from the sensing block and change it as touching crab sprite. From the looks category, use a switch backdrop block to change the backdrop to blue sky 2. Additionally, the dog should emit some noises when it touches the crab. From the sound block, use a play sound dog one until done. Dot to add sounds, navigate to the sounds tab, click on choose a sound, search for dog, and select an appropriate sound. Return to the programming area by clicking on the code tab and select the dog sound. After playing the sound, we want to switch back to the blue sky backdrop. Navigate to the Looks category and select the Switch Backdrop block. Set the backdrop to Blue Sky. Whenever the dog touches the crab sprite, one life should be lost. Use Change Life by 1 from the variables and decrement the value of variable life by 1. Go to the controls and select a Wait 1 second, as we want to include a pause. Then, set the touched variable to 1, using set variable block from the variable category and setting the variable to touched and value 1. When there is no life left, the game should stop. Achieve this by using an if block from the controls category. Navigate to the operators and select the equal sign button. Place the life variable from the variables inside it. And compare with 0. Then, select the stop all block from the control section and place it here. 
Finally, place the whole code inside a forever loop. The code for the dog is now complete. Moving forward, let's set the code block for the game over sprite. Ensure the game over sprite is selected. Begin by selecting when flag clicked from the events block. Set the condition using an if block from the control category. Place a equal sign a block from the operators inside the if else block. Incorporating life from the variables. Compare with zero. We aim to display this sprite only when the game is over, meaning when the life is zero. To achieve this, use the show button from the looks block and place it here, indicating that the game over sprite should be visible when the condition is met. Similarly, place the hide button here, indicating that the game over sprite should be hidden when the condition is not met. Add a forever loop. Run the program by clicking on the flag icon. Press the space key to make the dog jump. Left key to move left and right key to move right. Save the program by clicking on that save as project button here and then give it a proper name. Thank you.